there are a lot of factors that go into deciding where a radon mitigation system will be installed. Uh, so first of all, we need to find out what kind of foundation does a home have? Is it a basement, a crawl space, a slab, or is it a mixture of uh, multiple of those different foundations? So if there's a crawl space and a basement, then likely we're gonna put the system in an area near the opening to the crawl space or somewhere along the wall between the basement to the crawl space. And the reason for that is we're gonna to wanna to pull suction uh, for the radon from underneath the slab of the basement and from the crawl space. And to do that with one system, which is going to be the typically the cheapest option, uh, then we have to run our piping from the basement into the crawl space. So that makes that the easiest. If it's all a crawl space, then it's really gonna be just dependent on where there's a good opening from the outside of the house into that crawl space. Uh, a lot of times we'll try to conceal it as much as we can uh, on the outside of the house. So that's to say we don't put them on the front of the house. Uh, if there's like a back patio, we try not to be by that. You know, we try to take different things into consideration. For the house that we're at today, this is a full basement. So on something like this, we would try to be in the area near the sump crock if possible. Uh, and the reason for that is the way the sump crock system works as a whole, the water management system of a house, is there's what's known as a drain tile that goes around the perimeter of the foundation. And what that is, it's literally just a pipe with a bunch of holes in it that all is connected again through the outside perimeter of the foundation, or excuse me, the inside perimeter of the foundation, and that all drains to the sump crock. And then what happens is you have your sump pump in here that'll pull the water out. So we use that same system of piping to our advantage for pulling air from the whole perimeter of the basement. So if we go in the area near the sump crock, it just makes it easier for us that we know we're tying directly into that drain tile system to be able to pull air from the whole uh, basement uh, perimeter. So a house like this, that's where we'd start. Now here we weren't able to do that because then we also take in consideration, okay, now that this would be a good candidate on the inside, what's on the outside of the house? Well, right here we have a garage uh, right next to us on the other side of this wall. So we're unfortunately not able to go there. Uh, fortunately for us, this is a full unfinished basement. So we kind of have our options on where we want to go. Uh, so the owner in this property uh, decided that they wanted us to go over here on the side where they have like their AC condenser on the outside of the house, um, you know, just some different mechanical systems and it was a little bit hidden from the street as well. So what we did is we're able to core into the concrete and we know approximately where that drain tile system is gonna be. Uh, so when we drain, uh, excuse me, when we core down, uh, then there's gonna be some gravel underneath here, underneath the concrete. And so we'll suck some of that out and we'll try to get to that drain tile to make sure we're pulling suction from again, from that whole system. Uh, so we core down, we put a PVC pipe that goes into that and then route it to the outside of the house. And then it goes up to above the roof line with the fan being on the outside of the home. Uh, it cannot be inside or below a habitable area. So that's why the fan has to be uh, on the outside there. So multiple different considerations that go into uh, effect when trying to decide where to install one of these. Uh, having finished areas in say a basement does make it more difficult because we try to avoid that. Um, sometimes it's not possible to avoid that, but that's very rarely. Uh, but there are just a number of different things that go into consideration, but that's just a, a quick rundown of the, um, the short list of how we decide where to install them.